Good evening, friends, and welcome to my new yoga video. Today, I prepare for you a slow and gentle evening flow. I'll guide you through the sequence of calming and healing poses to help you unwind and relax the body and mind. So now let's start sitting at the center of your mat and let's begin by becoming aware of your breathing. Slowly breathing in through your nose, holding it for a few seconds and then exhaling it out through your mouth. With each breath you take, your body is becoming relaxed and your mind is becoming more clear and focused. Go ahead and make a couple of slow shoulder rolls. Straighten your back and gently tilt your head to the right shoulder and then to the left shoulder. Keeping your back straight and push your shoulders toward the mat. Now go ahead and make a slow full circle with your head. And now repeat on the other side. Now back to the center and start to take a deeper breeze as you reach both arms up to the sky. And then from here on your exhale, gently bend your torso to the left. Inhale back to the center and now on your exhale, slowly bend your torso to the right. On your inhale back to the center and place your fingers on the back of your head. And on your exhale, close your elbows, bring your chin to your chest, close your elbows and gently push your shoulders toward the mat. Hold the stretch and start to gently tilt your chin to the right knee and to the left knee. Now release the hands and on your inhale reach both arms up to the sky. And then from here on your exhale left hand releases down towards the mat. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Continue breathing deeply and looking up towards the sky. Try to keep the balls of your seat bones grounded. Now go ahead and bring the right hand on your left knee and then your left arm reaches up and over your head. Inhale and reach your both arms up to the sky. And then from here on your exhale, release your right hand down towards the mat. And then reach your left arm up and over your head. Breathing slowly and looking up toward the sky. Now go ahead and bring your left hand on your right knee. Inhale and lean towards the left knee and bring your right arm over your head and closer to your ear. Inhale and back to the center. Now we're gonna do some nice and slow movement to open your chest area. As you inhale, Open your hands wide to the sides. You can imagine as your chest and heart expand and your face and throat lift and open. Keep your both seat bones grounded, drawing your shoulders back and filling your lungs with oxygen. As you exhale, place your hands on your knees, round your back, drop your head and cave your belly and chest and continue this slow and circle movement. Try to breathe steady and slow. Now go ahead, root your both seat bones down. Inhale and lengthen the spine and straighten your back. As you exhale, 
Start to reach forward through the arms. Allow your hips, head, neck and shoulders area to relax. You can bend your elbows and place them on a mat. Or you can go deeper and straighten your arms and allow the chest to reach towards the floor. Feel the nice stretch inside your hips and lower back. As you inhale, back to the center and go ahead. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet to the floor. Place your hands at your sides, slightly behind you. And start to lower both legs to the right and then to the left, moving with your own pace. With this move, we gently warm your hips, knees, lower back and quads to help stretch and lengthen for next poses. Now lower your both legs to the left. Place your left hand on the floor behind you and the right hand on your left knee. As you inhale, lengthen your spine and keeping your back straight. Exhale and gently twist your torso to the left and gaze over your left shoulder. Now go ahead and slowly lean forward toward your left leg, keeping your back straight. You can stay with your elbows bent or you can completely lie down on your left leg. Hold the pose and take slow. Continue deep breathing. And now change sides. Bend your right knee and swing your left foot behind you. Keep your both buttocks on the floor. Inhale and slowly twist your torso to the right side and gaze over your right shoulder. Now back and lean forward toward your right leg. Bend your elbows and place them on a the mat. Breathe deeply in and out here. and allow your forehead to drop toward the floor. Inhale and release the pose. Now go ahead to the garland pose. We begin by squatting. Try to keep your feet closer to each other. You can place them parallel or slightly apart. Spread out your tights, placing them slightly wider than your torso. Bring your palms together and press your elbows against the inner tights and a small beginner's tip. If your heels don't come to the floor yet, you can place a folded towel or rolled yoga mat underneath them. Or you can do this pose with your back against the wall. Now inhale and release. Reach your left arm up to the sky and gently twist your torso and straighten your knees. If it's difficult to put your hands on the floor now, you can place your feet even wider with your feet parallel. Inhale and let's do that again slowly on the other side. Back to the center, bend your knees and roll your back and go up. And we go ahead coming into triangle pose. Rotate your right toe out about 45 degree and place your left foot parallel to the mat. As you inhale, reach your both arms up to the sky. Exhale, reach your torso forward and reach your left hand over the left leg. Reach the right hand toward the sky. Breathe here and open the chest to the front. And to simplify this pose, you can place your lower hand on your shin. Or to deepen the pose, you can try to lower your hand to reach toward the mat and extend your right hand parallel to the floor and closer to your ear.
Inhale, back to the center. Turn your left palm up and reach high toward the sky. And rest the right palm on the right tight lightly. You can keep this position or come into a gentle back bend. Bring your gaze up to the front fingertips and relax both shoulders. Now inhale and gently come out of the pose. Turn your right foot and your torso to the short side of the mat. On your inhale, bring your both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your left knee and move to a low lunge pose. You can lower your right knee or keep your legs straight. Go ahead and as you inhale, place your right hand on the floor next to your left foot. Exhale and bring your left arm toward the sky and gently twist your torso. Try to keep your shoulder open to the left and hold the pose. Now bring your both hands down inside of your left foot and try to keep your back straight and head and neck in line with spine. Extend your right leg and place your toe on the mat. If it's hard to do yet, you can lower your right knee to the floor. On an exhale, lower down onto your right knee and begin to straighten your left leg as much as you comfortably can. Keep your hips square and stacked over your right knee. On your inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, begin to fall forward over your left leg. And now with your naturally breathing, flex your left foot by flexing the ankle and reaching toes toward the sky. And then point your foot by extending at ankle and reaching toes down to the floor. You can stay in this position or you can go deeper by placing your right hand inside your left leg, twisting your torso to the left and extending your left arm toward the sky. Remain in the pose for few breaths. And now from this pose we go ahead to Pigeon. Gently slide your left chin forward and parallel to the front of the mat as you lengthen your right leg long behind. Lift your chest and open your heart. If it's hard to find this stillness in this pose yet, you can bend your left knee even more and bring your left toe closer to your right thigh. As you inhale, lengthen your spine, come onto your hands or fingertips, draw your navel in and open your chest. Go ahead and bend the extended right leg behind and take the ankle in your hand as you bring your foot towards your buttock. You can hold the pose here or you can try to grab your foot by your left hand. As you exhale, release your hands and right leg. And now we're gonna move deeper, try to walk with your hands forward and lower your upper body towards the floor. You can rest your forearms or forehead on the mat. Continue slowly breathing and on each exhalation try to release the tension in your left hip. And now come out of the pose, push back through the hands, lift and move your hips. And place the sole of your left foot against the right inner thigh. Try to open your left knee wide and flex your right toe. Slightly twist your torso to the left and place your right hand on the left side of the body. Inhale and bring your left hand up to the sky. And as you exhale, start to reach your left arm over your top ear for the right foot, revolving your chest open to the ceiling.
Inhale and go ahead to head to knee pose. Ground your both seat bones. Reach your both arms up to the sky and start to square your torso over your extended right leg. Slowly bring your torso down to your leg and flex your right toe. You can place your hands under your shoulders and try to maintain your straight spine and long neck in an active position. Or you can slowly walk with your hands forward toward the extended leg, allowing the spine slightly round. If your hands can reach your foot, try to hold your foot. Inhale and release the pose. Now bring your left ankle across the opposite bent right knee. Place your hands on the mat slightly behind you. Fingers pointed toward your hips. And hold the pose for a few deep and slow breaths. Go ahead, straighten your right leg and take hold of your left foot with your right hand. Firm your shoulder blades on your back. Open the chest and as you inhale, begin to slowly straighten your left leg while you're keeping the spine long. As you exhale, gaze over your left shoulder and continue straighten the leg. If it's hard to do yet, you can place a strap around the sole of your foot. Try to not round in your upper back. And as you exhale, Release the leg. Go ahead and back to the center of the mat. And we finish our first side sequence with wide leg forward bend. Step the feet wide apart, keeping your feet parallel to each other. If you are new to yoga, you can place your hands right under your shoulders and keep this pose. Or if you want to go deeper and stretch your shoulders and chest, you can clasp your fingers behind your back and extend your arms out behind you with your palms facing your back and let your torso come forward as far as it feels comfortable. Inhale and slowly lift back up to an upright position. Go ahead and rotate your right foot about 90 degrees and point forward. As you inhale, reach your both hands toward the sky. Turn your right foot out so your toes are pointing to the short edge of the mat. As you exhale, Draw your lower belly in and bring your right arm down. Open your chest and try to rotate your ribs toward the sky. You can place your right hand either on your leg, on the mat or a block. Continue breathing gently and keeping your face relaxed. Inhale, back to the center, place your left hand on your thigh and reach with your right hand toward the sky. Make a deep breath in and open the chest to the front. Go ahead and raise your both hands up to the sky. Slightly bend your right knee, chest and hips facing forward. Exhale and relax the shoulders away from the ears. You can lower down onto your left knee or you can keep your legs straight. From here, place your left hand on the mat, closer to your right foot. And as you inhale, begin to gentle twist your torso toward the right knee and raise your right hand to the sky. On 
On an exhale, place your both hands on a mat. Engage your legs, abdominals and arms. And breathe steady. To simplify the pose, you can place blocks under your hands. Or you can lower your left knee on the mat. Try to keep in your back straight and push your shoulders down toward the mat. Now go ahead, lower down onto your left knee and release the top of the left foot on the ground. Place your both hands on the sides of your right leg and begin to straighten your right leg as much as you comfortably can. Keep your hips square and stacked over your left knee. As you inhale, lengthen your spine and draw your shoulder blades down your back and away from your ears. Add the slow movement with your right foot by flexing the ankle and reaching toes toward the sky and then point it down by extending at ankle and reaching toes down to the floor. Now flex your toe and begin to slowly twist your torso to the right side and gaze at your right hand. As you inhale, release the pose and bring your right knee forward towards your right wrist. You can bend your right knee at 90 degrees angle or you can bring the sole of your right foot closer to your left inner thigh. Your left heel pointed up to the ceiling. If this stretch too intense for you, you can use some support under your right buttock to keep your hips level. Inhale, open your chest and lengthen your spine. Come onto your fingertips and draw your navel in. You can hold this pose or you can go deeper to the quad stretch. Bend the extended left leg and take the ankle in your hand as you bring your foot towards your hips. Hold the pose here or try to grab the ankle with your both hands. As you exhale, release the hands and go onto your elbows to deepen the pigeon pose. You can rest here or you can walk with your hands forward and lower your upper body towards the floor. Inhale, push the mat with your hands and now we move to head to knee pose. Ground your both seat bones. Sit up tall and keep the wide angle between your knees. As you inhale, bring your both hands up to the sky. Then begin to slowly twist your torso to the right and place your left hand on the right side of your body. Exhale and slowly lean to the left and press the back of your right shoulder against the inside of your left knee. Inhale and lengthen the right side of your torso and look up. Inhale, release the pose and we move to next head to knee forward bend variation. Sit on the floor by facing toward the legs. Bring your right sole towards your left thigh. Square your torso over your extended left leg. Inhale and bring your both hands up to the sky. And then begin to bring your torso down to your left leg. Hold the pose for a few breaths and then lower your hands and maybe elbows on the mat. Keep your left foot flexed and lengthen your spine. Inhale, release the pose and move to figure 4 seated variation. Sit tall on the floor and place your palms shoulder wide apart on the floor behind you. Fingers pointed at your hips. Bring your right ankle slightly above your left knee. Continue deep breathing. Begin to pull your legs toward you. And hold the stretch for a few slow and deep breaths.
Now release and straighten your left leg. Grab your right foot with your left hand. Open the chest and as you inhale, begin to straighten your right leg while you keeping the spine long. And you can add a gentle twist to this pose. Place your right hand as support behind you. Stretch the right leg slightly to the opposite side as you exhale and twist the torso to the right side. Hold the pose for a few breaths. And slowly come out as you exhale. Now we go ahead to the pleasant quad stretch. Bend your right knee and bring the heel to the outside of the right hip. Walk your left foot as far as you need to. Place your hands behind you with your palms down and fingertips facing forward. You can stay here or you can push the mat with your hands and as you exhale, draw your navel in and begin lifting your hips. Keep your chest up and tailbone slightly forward. Inhale and hold your body in a bridge pose for a few breaths. Push your feet to lift your pelvis and your spine. Feel the work in your glutes and hamstrings. Now lower your left knee and switch sides. Continue slightly push your chest up and tailbone forward. And now it's time to relax into a child pose. Sit on your heels and touch your big toes together. Then bring your knees wider than your hips. Exhale and begin to fall forward. Bringing your torso down between your tights. Walk your hands out toward the front of your mat and tuck your chin slightly. Take a few deep and relaxing breaths and release tension in your lower back muscles, chest, shoulders and hamstrings. Perfect at the end of the practice, this move along with deep breathing can calm your mind, reduce anxiety and prepare your body for a sweet sleep. And now it's time to release the pulse and end our practice. I hope you guys enjoy this evening wind down flow. Let me know how it leaves you feeling. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out new free weekly yoga classes. Sending love.